Restorative sleep, it it's an intracellular and extracellular detox. Autophagy, what happens when you stop eating, because our cells need a lot of energy, uh, they, never not, they never stop needing that energy. So when you're not giving it the uh, glucose, you're not eating, um, you, it starts to recycle the insides of the cell. So your mitochondria, which, gets, which get worn out, get worn down throughout the day because you've been busy, and your mitochondria are those little organelles that make energy. As they get worn out, instead of being really efficient and producing 38 ATP for every glucose, maybe by 9 p.m. they're making 26 ATP. So that's why you're walking like this at 9, whereas you were running around at 9 a.m. Okay, so you go to sleep, stop eating, your cell, st cell still needs glucose, it turns on the lysosomal system and starts eating all those old mitochondria and all the other old ribosomes, etc. But once you eat up those mitochondria, they re reproduce immediately. So now when you wake up in the morning, your cell's full of, of, of ripe, uh, healthy, brand new mitochondria. So you jump out of bed, you crawl into bed exhausted, you jump out with energy. So if you went to sleep early, you your gland, your pituitary got restored. Your adrenal glands got restored. All the organs and all the, your endocrine organs that make hormones get restored. Because one of the other things that happens at that reset point is that you start to produce uh, uh, cortisol and you start to produce growth hormone. And growth hormone, after you've grown, does other things. It does tissue repair and all that. It's important for all, it's important for being able, you know, being able to repair, heal a wound. Um, so anyway, leptin, ghrelin, insulin, prolactin, all these things are balanced at night in the organs if you went to bed early enough to have enough restorative sleep before you get to the reset. If you don't, you won't. So that's okay a couple days, a couple days here and there, but you do, it for a, you do it for a year. How about a decade? So if your goal is to age as quickly as possible, don't change anything, okay? Because you're on the right track. So that's why, you know, 15-year-olds are going to do, they're not going to sleep at all. They're going to stay up eating pizza all night because they want to get to be 16 so they can drive, right? So they want to age as quickly as possible. <laughs>